So I'm going to redo the video I did yesterday of how to make oil from moringa seeds. Okay. And um, these are the seeds I buy from Victoria White. She is from Moringa Tree of Life. She buys There's the seeds that's edible variety. She washes them and dries them and it's non-fumigated seeds. So make sure when you get them, it has to be non-fumigated. And some of my friends asked me to post the same video. So I'm using the same knowledge from the cannabis industry. So I, uh, the cannabis wouldn't work if in case you do not have good oils in the body because it uses the same arachnidic acid um, metabolism. And if, if in case you don't have enough phospholipids, the pain relief from the cannabis is not going to be effective. So understanding how to make Moringa oil and using it as the solvent is one way to solve the pain management issue when it comes to cannabis. So I use the machine uh, called Magical Butter and it has multiple settings. So the first thing I do is make sure the temperature is set to 160 degrees when you're doing the oils, which is the middle button. And then I use the uh, the setting for oil, which is like the, the first setting, okay? So it comes with a container and it has inside two levels one is minimum and one is maximum it also has a temperature gauge which measures the temperature and it also has the ability to swirl the liquid inside when it's needed and it comes with a way to fit it in so that it sits on top and there is a cord that plugs in that way you would be able to cook it the way you want. In addition, what I did was, I, these are the pictures I did yesterday. So I'm gonna just uh, redo the video. So I took no. the seeds and I blended it in the magic bullet, which like you could see the cup. So the total, I measured two cups and I kept blending until the powdered powder was around two cups. So I put it in the blender and you could see like, not blender, sorry, the magic butter machine. So it would be into the uh, minimum level. And then I uh, made sure the measurement wise it was, uh, I remeasured so that people will know it is two, uh, two cups, uh, sorry, two cups I'm, posting, I'm putting in. And then I also added oil to it. The oils were three ounce castor oil, one ounce neem oil. The reason is castor oil will disintegrate the biofilms, so it's very good if uh, you have chronic infections, and also it resets some of the interference field. So that's why I like castor oil. And the neem oil has antimicrobial property, so which is also healing for the body. So as as you see, I used one ounce of neem oil that makes it four ounce, and you could see the measurement in the cup was four ounce and then um, I used the magic butter machine and I added all these ingredients and you could see the oil uh, was starting to form and then because the oil was getting thicker so I added coconut oil to this formula and I don't think you can read the coconut oil but this one is the coconut oil and I added up to 250 ml of coconut oil in addition I added oil of oregano, this was oil of oregano, uh, one ounce, and then I added lemon oil, one ml, um, pine oil, one ml, orange oil, one ml, clove oil, one ml. These were from Young Living, and these are edible oils. And then once I finished it, I was able to make two bottles, two 12 ounce bottles, so that was roughly around 24 ounces, and then I, uh, I use vegetarian capsules and I use the cap, cap, um, cap them quick uh, machine and I create a total uh, 250 capsules but in addition I also have some more oil left. So you could see like the whole process took me an hour to finish and I did not filter out the dregs. Maybe next time I would because it is tough to encapsulate them. Uh, because the um, uh, pipettes wouldn't suck it out. So next time maybe I'll use a filter to filter out the the uh, the other dry powders and then maybe I'll dehydrate them and use the powder separately to capsulate. 
So this is my completion of this video.